Uh, what's the end goal of uh, this evolution of universal mind? Is the end goal that uh, all every bit of the universal self gets to realize the non-dual? No, there is no goal. There is no goal to the evolution. It's a play. That is the goal. <laughs> And the, you, the mind cannot realize the non-dual. No, it will never happen. Even if it is the biggest mind, no, it, the mind is an appearance. The jeev is an appearance. It appears and disappears. The non-dual is. It is not here to be realized. It is here to be seen. See, this is here. And the play is happening. The evolution is happening because of the necessity. And because there is timelessness. It is not happening in time. That means everything is as evolved as it should be already. Don't you see? <laughs> everything is perfect as it is. It is the ignorance in our mind that sees things as unevolved and evolved. When I am talking about the evolution, when I am talking about the spiritual progress and this knowledge, you know, well, these are relative things. These are, uh, I'm, ta I'm talking in the domain of the illusion now, not in the domain of the oneness. In the domain of the oneness, nothing needs to evolve. <laughs> what will evolve into what when there is only one? Who is big? Who is small? Who is evolved? Who is not evolved? The mind sees the ordinary things and thinks that, yes, it is going towards something. You see, when you visit a factory, let us say, a car factory, and you see people putting together the pieces and the final product, the shiny car comes out at the end. And then you see all the raw material is going in the factory and you then assume that all this raw material will become the cars. This is our thinking. This is our linear mind, small mind. It is not applicable to the universal mind. <laughs> it is not applicable to the whole. It is not a factory of evolution. Where everybody is, you know, progressing towards becoming a shiny product of some kind. No. No, this will never happen. It is a timeless thing. It is, a, it is a timeless movie where scenes appear on the screen of the consciousness. Some of the scenes, we think of them as evolution. That's all. Evolution, progress, spiritual evolution is also illusion. It is also maya. It is also false. That's why Gani is not trying to evolve, isn't it? <laughs> that's why this, is, this path is called the dark path. It is, that's why it is called a pathless path. There is nothing to evolve here. And now I am talking from the point of view of the ultimate point of view of the oneness. We are already one. We are already all evolved. So either you can take this shortcut, which is actually a long cut. Probably won't be able to appreciate. Most of the people won't appreciate what I just said. The effort full paths are recommended. Do the effort then. Why are you asking for a guide? Why are you, why are you asking for uh, knowledge? Because you want something. As long as this wanting is there, as long as the seeking is there, the seeker will be there. It's not going to go away. As long as this desire to evolve is there, the evolution is there. So that's why I say the Ishwar, the universal mind has this ignorance that I need to become. <laughs> I need to become something. It's not ignorance actually, but it's the tendency there. The evolutionary energy is there. But it's all good. It's all okay. In the, in, from the point of view of the Brahman, nothing is really evolving and nothing is not, not evolved. Nothing is unevolved. So no, it's not a factory of evolution. <laughs> you can bypass it all. That's why I said, it is very amusing. That's why, that's why I like this field of knowledge, the spiritual sciences. Because there is always a twist in the end. <laughs> You, I give you one hour lecture and I, in the end I say, oh, don't worry about this, it's nothing, it's totally useless. <laughs> illusion. So yes, there, there is some use of the illusion. The illusion is evolution. And, sorry, the use is the evolution. What is the evolution? Just to play. That's all it is. If you are in the ignorance, it, it looks like suffering. It looks like effort. When you are in the knowledge, in the light of knowledge, it looks like play. Let it happen. Don't worry about it. So there are no end goals in the whole. No end goals at all. The parts have the end goals. So for example, my end goal, I'm a part here in this body-mind. My end goal is achievement of happiness and freedom. That is my end goal. So is everybody else's, I think. And uh, the whole is bliss itself. Infinite freedom itself. It cannot have that goal. Uh, it cannot have any goal. So... If I lack something, that means I'm a part, isn't it? And then I want to complete myself. There is a goal. The goal appears because of ignorance. 
the gold disappears when you know that I am the whole. Where do we want to go when I, when only I exist? When only I am here, where will you go? Where can I go? Will I disappear? Will I appear? Will I evolve? No, there is only oneness. It is as good as nothingness. <laughs> where can the nothingness evolve? 